Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to 1v1 Commander with Majora. Hey, that's me. I'm playing Azusa Lost But Seeking. This deck uh, is built around the commander who lets us play two additional lands each turn. So we can make Big lots of mana. Wait, what are you doing over there with Rexiel? Rexiel the Risen Deep. I get to steal uh, instants and sorceries from your graveyard. Oh my. Rectum Rexiel? Is that the name of the deck? Something like that, yeah. Are you mulliganing again? I mean, that was a seven lander, so... My deck keeps seven landers. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, huh? Well, maybe not, but... You, you know. That. Turn one. Oh, just kidding, I'm playing Tron. <laughs> oh, uh oh Forest Expedition map, go. Gonna get those. I actually didn't put any Tron lands in this deck. I should have. I guess there's not a whole. Wait, why would you play Bajukabog in a deck that wants to uh, steal a sorceries from your opponent's graveyard? Because I don't have to play it out. I mean, it's still a useful card to have. If they're like a creature reanimator deck, then I can't interact much with that. I only do instant sorceries. Well, I'm going to get my graveyard hate land. Okay. Seems correct. I'm going to tutor. Ooh. For a blue instant. What's it going to be? I swear to God, mm. if it's Cyclonic Rift. Which is actually not as busted in 1v1 as it is in multiplayer. Mm -hmm. So how was your day today, man? What you been up to? Uh, Not much. I mean, I've been playing a bunch of Smash Ultimate. I am so excited. That game is in the mail. I'm going to have it tomorrow, and I'm very excited to play it. I thought we had an interesting discussion about DLC. I don't want to get into it again here, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very interesting. <laughs> play you. Play you. Play Damn, I should have grabbed my this. Pact of Negation. Pass to the turn. What did you get? Did it reveal it? Yes. Dig through time. Ooh, that's a little ways off, but it's a powerful card. Yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about Smash. Uh, I think that Megan and I are probably going to smash this entire week. Nice. That's just going to be our our main side. Act oh, so many tutors. Okay. Hmm. No, this is searching for anything, so you don't have to show it. So, uh, who, who's your main so far? What's what's your fave? Have you unlocked Daisy yet? I did. I unlocked all the characters. Whoa, uh, already? I, did, I beat the story mode. Yeah. Damn, how long did it take? How long to beat Smash Ultimate? How long to beat Smash Ultimate? Mm -hmm. About 10 hours. Oh, that's not too long. Yeah. I guess most of the fun is going to be multiplayer, so that's pretty much... Yeah, and online, once just they fun. figure out what the fuck they're doing. Everything about the game is great. They've done much better, like, balancing everything and just fixing the, the, the broken parts. But they added something bad which is the online matchmaking. So instead of like saying, I want to do only 1v1s on um, like Final Destination maps, now you have like an entire list of preferred rules. And if matchmaking takes too long to find someone else with those preferred rules, it'll like change them. So oh, like no. say you wanted to do 1v1s with, you know, three stocks. Um there's a chance that if no one else wants to do that at the same time that you queue up, that like you'll just get into a oh. With all so items if you and... so if you try and queue up for anything other than Final Destination, Fox only, no items, there's not going to be anybody there to play with. I mean, it kind of more like works that. How to describe it? Essentially, you don't get to play competitive until you're good enough. <laughs> So you have to keep playing four-player free-for-alls with items on on random stages until you get enough points with your character that you can go into the competitive portion of it oh. that lets you play 1v1s. That's, Which is, wait, you have to like yeah. unlock competitive play? Yes. That's strange. Yeah, I agree. And especially, like you, it's on a per-character basis. So if you're playing Mario and you get really good at Mario and then you get into the competitive 1v1 leagues, you cannot play any other character besides Mario. 
besides Mario, unless you're gonna get you're just gonna get queued into um one v or free for all matches with items on it, completely uncompetitive. So you can either so it sounds a lot like how they did it for Smash Four, where you had was it for fun or for glory? Mm-hmm. And if you went into the for fun queue, you would just be like standing in a in a line waiting yeah, for someone there else isn't to join. That anymore it's there's one queue and it's preferred rules and if you don't get matched up soon enough then you're going to get put in a free-for-all with all items even if you want to play competitive oh well i mean that's going to be a pretty big downside when uh the game gets a little less popular in a couple years yeah definitely Uh, i don't really have any use for this bottom that Ooh, that's decent. Hmm, okay. Scavenger grounds. What the heck? Yeah, I tutored that up over my, uh, with my expedition map, remember? Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow, okay. I, I get a bird. I just wanted to put lands into play, man. Mm. <laughs> I just want to play lands. Uh. <laughs> This is six mana. All right, so that's not coming next turn. How many basics do you play? <laughs> a lot. Damn. I could do this all day, son. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of happy that this this interaction got to, came together in the very first game. Azusa lets me play extra lands, and Ramanak Ex- Excavator lets me play lands from my graveyard. So I'm just playing this Ghost Quarter three times a turn. <laughs> And ghost ordering him repeatedly. Each time I do so, he gets to search his library for a basic land. Uh, But eventually, he's going to run out of basic lands, and these will be hilarious strip mines. It's going to take a minute, though, because he's playing a two-color deck. And How many basics do you have? Like 20? 30? A lot. It can't be more than, like, 20. (laughs) Like Probably probably around 20 or so. I've seen a maze of Ith, a Bajukabog, and a Temple of Deceit in, in your t- like first four land drops, so there can't be that many basics. Yeah. Getting in there for three. Wish I had a big thing to cast, or lots <laughs> of lands to play. See, if you let Seek the Horizon resolve, I would have just played three forests and passed the turn. But instead, mm-hmm. I had to Ghost Court you three times. <laughs> you had to. Mm-hmm. That's just technically correct. Mm. Plus, now I have a 2-2 bird I'm going to beat you down with. Oh, shit. Dude, so we had the snow day here. It snowed heavily yesterday. We had a, a, a snow day. Didn't leave the house except to run around and throw snowballs and play. It was a lot of fun. The dog thought it was amazing. Here comes a dig through time. Uh, but the cat hated it, understandably. It's like water except colder, so not a fan. But... This, you know how the snow sort of has a, a dampening effect on the sound? Yes. We don't experience that very often. So it was weird for us, standing out there being like, wow, it's weirdly quiet outside. And then some geese fell up, flew over that looked just like these the bird token birds, except without the mystic runes, and they had black feathers. Mm-hmm. And, and their honks were like the loudest geese honks I've ever heard. And I'm sure they were the, the the usual volume. It just seemed that much louder. Oh, no. Have a moon. It have just, a moon priestess. I don't have any more lands to play, so it's fine. Well, you have Ghost Quarter. Oh, no. All right. I'm going to have to scry one then. <laughs> okay. I'll that keep... was a very fruitful dig through time. Yeah, you found... Did you find that uh, Imprisoned in the Moon off of it? I did. It's pretty good. Play land. You are, you are a colorless land. This is weirdly appropriate for Azusa. <laughs> she she's got so into it, she became a land. She became what she truly believed in. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's let's tap Azusa. Five. Play Nissa. Whoa, that's a four four. Untap. Make a four four. Excuse me. What? It yeah, doesn't untap. It doesn't untap it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who was designing these cards? Like seriously? I saw it didn't give haste. I made sure to to not do it in a land I just played, but it doesn't untap it. What the fuck, no. dude? Oh, I'm 
Oh, I'm salty. I just passed through combat. God damn it. I'm too used to arena. <laughs> if you just repeatedly click on, on the OK button on arena, it automatically makes you click on attack all. So that's what I was trying to do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Nissa. Target land becomes a 4-4. Four, four. It's still a land. Doesn't untap it. Doesn't give it haste. That is horrible, dude. Yeah, it's one of the, not the best Nissa out there. <laughs> no. All right, so if you get in here, you get to cast an instant or sorcery spell from my graveyard for free, which means you get a worldly tutor, probably. Yeah, but you don't have a swamp or an island, so you can just block. Yeah, I think that's that's the line here. I'm going to use this bird you gave me. Yes, I blocked. Thank you, Arena. Or Moto. Arena? <laughs> uh, should I go score so you? You're in the middle of telling a story. I guess uh, I can replay this next turn with Ramanath. The Might dampening well. sound. Yeah, yeah, the geese flew over. And I'm sure that their, their cry was the usual volume. It just seemed extra loud because all the sound was dampened. And I was like, damn, those are some loud geese. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. What's the Pokedex say about his power level? That's. I don't think you're you're you got your stuff straight. You're gonna lose your mana. Are you gonna do something or just okay? Swan song. Oh. Right. Wait. Oh my god! It's not until end of turn. What is this card? Yeah. It doesn't untap it. It doesn't give it haste, and it doesn't end at end of turn. That is so strange, man. I did not understand this Nissa. Okay. Uh oh. Seven mana. More than seven mana. Many manas. My deck's Genesis doing a thing. Wave. Here we go. Genesis wave for eight. Oh boy. All right. I got a land, a land, a land, abundance, Garrick. and Garrick. Cool. <laughs> so, Garrick minuses to kill himself. So, I think I will make a token. And then I will play. Oath of Nyssa, the green wow. ponder. Synergy. Um, yeah, I think I think I'll take rampaging Bayloths. Oh, no. I don't have any more lands to play. Oh, I shouldn't have. Well, I guess I had to tap it. I, I only got lands off of what I drew. Combat. Um. Eh, I'll I'll just pass. Okay. I still don't have a swamp or an island. Do you have Do you have a uh, spreading seas over there? <laughs> that no. deck's gotta have spreading seas or, or like that that artifact that's a fountain that makes uh, lands into islands. Like silver fountain. That's the one. Are you playing that? Do you, get, do you make your guy unblockable? Uh, no, because typically I play against blue decks or black decks. <laughs> In multiplayer. Yep. I would think that green. I would think that like the other colors would be the most popular. Naya colors. Maybe your your group is more competitive than mine. What's this? Oh my! You're gonna draw a lot of cards. Look at our decks doing the things they do. The blue deck is drawing cards. The green deck is playing a lot of lands. All right. And has one card in hand. And has one card in hand. Yes. All right, I'm gonna scry. I'm gonna scry. Ugh. Actually. Uh oh. But you get to draw cards off your pokey decks. You play the Bayloth. That's true. It's true. Hmm. I guess that's okay. I'm sure I'll draw that. Choose which replacement effect. Oh yeah, I have abundance out. <laughs> yep. Uh, I may instead. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to draw a card. Thank you. You may draw two. I'll take two. You're gonna do it. Careful, man. You're gonna mill out. Uh huh. I'm worried that's for you here. <laughs> All right. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rampaging Bayloths. Pact negation. Okay. <laughs> you could. Yes, pay, uh, pay for it. Draw a card. Now I will use Abundance to draw a non-land. Okay. And that doesn't trigger Consecrated Sphinx. Because it doesn't draw a card. Yep. Nice. To your hand. Oh, I should have done that. I didn't know that. That's how that worked. Mm. I, I realize now, but... Okay. I'll make a beast. Always yes. I do want 4-4 four, four beasts. This is getting spooky. One, two, three. Oh, I can't play this. It's too expensive. 
Unless I have Nissa on the table. So let's see here. I might just let you draw a million cards, man. <laughs> Untap some lands. One, two, three, four, five. My guys get hexproof. And it can regenerate. That's cool. And then I can either make a 3-3 three, three beast or I can draw, draw six, six cards. and let you draw. <laughs> Except I won't draw because I have abundance. So let's do that. I'm going to not draw with abundance many times. What is this? Reveal. Okay. You guys go on the bottom. Abundance. Non-land. Lightning Greaves. Two straw. Abundance. Countering my Consecrated Sphinx. I know, right? Oracle of Moldiah. Non I, I, I am revealing all of these, right? I'm not just telling you what I'm drawing. Yes. Okay, I thought that's how that's worked. And the other Garrick, cool. I love Abundance in this deck, dude. <laughs> not even just for this interaction, but just because it's cool. Um, hmm. Do I need to leave up Scavenger Grounds? Can you... Oh, wow, I milled over Eldritch Evolution with my thing and cord. You probably do some good stuff if the graveyards stay there. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we're just going to pass. <laughs> Done enough for one turn. Okay. Yeah, that's enough, I guess. I, you know, I, what can you do? Hmm. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was the bounce land, and I was like, oh, this ghost quarter. Oh, it's burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell Megan after this match that this Nissa, your land doesn't stop being a land, or it doesn't stop being a creature. That's like that unstable card where it said target creature gets plus two, plus two, and fights. And it's like, wait, it keeps the plus two, plus two? They meant to do that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Other enchantments have. At the beginning of this, what? Mm-hmm. I don't. There's no enchantment removal in blue and black, so that's my enchantment removal. There you go. Yeah. Okay. We well, have to pay for your imprisoned in the moon now. Yeah. Okay. I guess I have abundance that I really want to keep around. Oath of Nissa, not as much since I'm a monocolored deck. Where's this going, Garrick? Yes, I cannot block. I do not have plummet in hand, so I will let this happen. Mm -hmm. You've seen all six cards I revealed, so there's no hidden information here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this now. No graveyards. Sacrifice a desert. This one. Yes. Keep, right. keep Rexiel from doing anything too crazy. Why do I have so many triggers in my upkeep? Oh, I have to pay two. <laughs> okay. Um, Oath of Nyssa. Oh, my goodness. Cynicism, Abundance, Bestiary. Okay, Scry 1. Top. Abundance. Okay. I'll pay 2. Yes. Asceticism is also pretty good. What do I want to cast this turn? Hmm... Do I really need asceticism? I don't know. I think I'll keep it for now. One, two, yes. And then Oath of Nyssa can go to the graveyard. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with this. So now I draw. What did I scry to the top? Oh, God. Is that in the chat? Can I, like, look? Nah, I wouldn't be there because then you'd be able to see it. Um, I want to say it was a non-land. Yeah, that's a Rex Sage. Sweet. So, let's... Oh, Rex Sage, damn it. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I can start by untapping the lands I use to pay for my upkeep <laughs> stuff <laughs> from this thing. Uh, let's go... One, two, three, Rex Sage. Draw a card, except don't draw a card. I would like, actually, to make a land drop. So let's get a land. Oh, <laughs> I milled over some good shit. Card. What's that? <laughs> draw a card, but not actually draw a card. Exactly. 
Thank you, Abundance. Mm -hmm. What do I blow up here? I think I just hit these. I don't really care about the Aura Flux. I got a million mana. Yes, I would like to do that. Thank you. Make Beast Token. Let's go. One, two, three, four. You look pretty dead right now. <laughs> I look dead? No, I'm feeling dead. Oh, I was like, uh, really? Uh, you can kind of... Yes, I will draw, but not draw. Non-land. Oh, that's a good card. Play that. What's on top of my deck? Mm. Oh, is this a counterspell? Ooh, straight up counterspell. Okay. Go response. <laughs> I actually can't even play Guttural Response because it's hybrid red, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's true. I think so. I think it is. All right, am I out of mana? I think I'm out of mana. All right, so let's go... Well, I'm close to out. One, two, Lightning Greaves. The card that you could have used was Autumn's Veil. What is Autumn's Veil? One green creatures you control can't be targeted by blue or black uh, spells this turn, and uh, spells you control can't be countered by blue or black spells this turn. That seems pretty good. Yeah. Uh, do I want to get in for three? No, I'm good. Um, okay. No attacks. No, I mean, I could have bashed him with my Baylos, but... Oh, I guess he doesn't die to Rexiel. Well, missed some damage. Oh, you let it go! Yay, I have Azusa again! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I figure I'm, I'm pretty dead anyway. <laughs> I, I mean, you're still at 26, that. and you're playing blue and black. I'm sure you have ways to sweep the table. Yeah, if I had any in hand. <sighs> Don't psych rift me, bro. I'm sorry you didn't get to draw very many cards with Consecrated Sphinx. A 4-6 mm -hmm. flyer that draws you two cards is still pretty good. Yeah. So so good when I'm ferrying down an army of four four hexproof creatures <laughs> and infinite ghost quarters. Well, it's only three a turn. You got a lot of basics, man. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you can't make All me right. feel bad as a green player. I did nothing wrong. Let's try that. Whoa! <clears throat> did you just mill me? Reveals yeah. until they reveal what five lands. Mm -hmm. It's 11 cards. You hit a Cultivate, a Vernal Bloom, Tomatic Compass, Seer Sundial, Terastodon. Not a lot of spells down there. Uh, yep, pay two. Yes. Yep, pay two. Yes. Scry. Uh, top. Draw. A land. There it is. Forest. Search my library for any number of basics. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Good seven, thing I got rid of five of them. <laughs> yeah, you milled. Well, probably. Did you get all basic forests? Yep. Damn it, every. Moto, it's so hard to tell which of these are highlighted and which aren't. Does it even tell you? When you okay, no more basic lands. Okay, these please. Those lands become 4-4 four, four elementals with trample. Oh no! Too many beasts! Yeah. yeah. They have trample, but do they have haste? I mean, your lands... They're not summoning sick, but they don't have haste. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Am I missing something here? I don't have anything that grants haste, do I? Nissa grabs all of those lands from your library and then makes them elementals. Those lands become... You have a bunch of beast tokens. Right, so they become elementals. But if you play a land and then turn it into a creature, like with life and limb or something, it still ha it'll have summoning sickness as a creature. Yeah. Also, I have no. I have forests that are hexproof and trample, but they're not four four elementals. What the hell? <laughs> they're just, <laughs> just hexproof trample. They're elementals, but they're not they four fours. 
Good old magic arm. And they are summoning sick. It just doesn't look like it. What the hell? What is going on? <laughs> Dude, I, no, I... No one has literally ever played Nissa before. So. I don't understand. I'm just going to do this to make them all two twos. Nice. <laughs> and then uh, now I think I just hit attack all, except yeah. not you or you. Uh, I guess the rest can die. I don't care. Go, go, elementals. Look at all these beast tokens, dude. No. I swear. No, not my Rex age. Negative 27. <laughs> <laughs> well, go to game two then. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Azusa. I, I literally kept, I think my hand was like five lands, an expedition map, and that spell you countered that gets three more basics. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, I have things Ooh. to do. This is a much better hand. Oh, all right. Sweet. Uh, I'll keep mine, too. Let's start off with that. Hey, my lanes are all swamps. Oh, I thought Synergy. for a second. I thought for a second you were going to thought seize me. No, no, no. Forest. Go. Two. Two. Pass. <laughs> Don't. Come on, the block. fucking... Why is it only two on the, the fucking numbers above the keys? Why does it not read two from the numpad as a two? I have no mock on. I'm not stupid. It's magic online that's stupid. Yep, oh, that's right. Just tapping out. Okay, I don't need an upkeep stop now that I don't have that uh, thing. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's the win con of win cons. Uh, he... Helix Pinnacle? Yes! Oh! You called it! <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. So it's just a... Why do I have a stop here? Go. Go. I F8'd it, didn't I? Oh, I can pay zero. God damn it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I'm going to put zero counters on Helix Pinnacle. Nice. Wait, before it goes to my turn. I'm gonna uh, put... Judge, I'm gonna... stalling the board stage. <laughs> why does Moto not... Why would you ever want to do this? Anyway, if I, so I can keep putting counters on this, and if I ever get it up to, up to 100 counters, I win at the beginning of my upkeep. All right, so let's go this. And then, are you going to counter my commander? You didn't tap out this turn. Know. You think so? I think you are. I think you're going to counter my commander. So what if, we just, what if you just hold up counter magic forever, and I just keep putting counters on Helix Pinnacle? No, here's a dude. <laughs> Hey, there's a forest on top, but I can't play it because I already played my land for the turn. Free pass information. The, pass the turn. Wait, but first, put zero counters on Helix Pinnacle. Judge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to F8, but Moto won't let me. All right, fine. I won't counter your commander. You can have him this turn. Hey, nice. Nice, solemn. So mm -hmm. tell me about your card choices. What, what made you want to use these lands and then the ex not expedition what do they call it masterpiece invention solemn um well because i really love the look of the inventions and the invocations and then the zendikar lands the the inventions in particular it looks like they did the whole card in mythic orange mm -hmm. it kind of that's what it makes me think of okay. and my land choice is because foil lands on magic online are like two cents instead of one cent and i just have a lot of card art that i like and oh. i figure i just get one of each in foil because it's two cents and spending twice the amount on my basics but they they look dope so. but they're still just two cents yeah exactly yeah. yay look we're up to three counters on helix oh, pinnacle oh boy I guess I won't attack because I don't want to let you draw a okay. card with Solemn. I think I might try and win with Helix Pinnacle, man. That's a, that's a hilarious way to win a game of Magic. Let's see, I have six mana, huh? How cool would it be if you built a modern deck that <laughs> just played a bunch of infinite mana combos and then Helix Pinnacle? Just just made zero attempt to interact with your opponent. This is modern legal, right? Morning Tide? Yeah. You could even play Azusa in that deck. It's Rexial. He's going to Rexial your rectum. Oh, no. Especially since I'm getting hit for two from Solemn. Oh, you're going to be on defense. He is a Kraken. 
Who's a Kraken? Oh my god. Brexit. I was he drink- looks like David Jones. I was drinking some Kraken earlier. Forest off the top. David Forest Jones. off the top. Oh, I can't play that off the, the top. I can't play that off the top, but I sure <laughs> want to. Um. Oh, I punted. I'm doing. I'm so bad at magic, man. Uh, let's see. I like Seaborn Muse. I haven't played all my land drops though. So one, two, three, four. Seek the horizon. Shuffle my deck. Don't even care. Oh, rip oh, it's, it's fine. I still have I still have a forest on top. <laughs> Broken. Play my Seedborn Muse that you Ugh. saw. And then pass oh, the whoops. turn, untap my stuff, and I'll be able to put nine counters on Helix Pinnacle. Yay! Ugh. Ugh. Yay! Nasty. If I can actually get enough counters on Helix Pinnacle to win, that would be hilarious. Mm-hmm. I also love the it's incidental cool life gain from Corsair. Attack you unblockable. Unblockable? All your lands are swamps, fool! Oh, that's right, Urborg. Nice. I saw that they could tap for black, but I forgot that it actually gave them mm-hmm. the swamp type. Well, swamp I won't block. block. Rarely I can't, relevant. Can't block. Now you get to search your library for three basics and put them into your hand. Excellent. Not the best spell to steal, but it's something. That's, that's, like, a, that's like a better divination where you only draw lands. Not terrible. Ancient Stirrings. Why is this in my deck? Maybe I'll find that <laughs> Ugin again. Why is this in my deck? The best question. Uh, Island. Let's see. Five, six, seven. Huh? I swear to God, if you Psychrift Helix Pinnacle, I'm going to be so mad. No. No, I'm just going to do this. I'll be taking that. Connive. Gain control of target creature with power two or less. Oh, my Seaborn Muse. I was going to save it for Azusa, but this seems a little better. Okay. All of these cards add green. Put nine more counters on. Kadunk. A hundred is a long way away. (laughs) All right. You get a Seaborn Muse, I guess. Asshole. (laughs) I knew I should have put Homeward Path in this deck. I I couldn't because it's like five bucks online. It's It's a budget deck. A budget league. One, one, two, wow, three, one tap all my nine, five, six. The Bayloths. Okay. The land drops. Mm-hmm. Uh, always yes, always yield. Land drop. Stack the triggers. Look at the cards. Oh no. Land drop. Uh, Look at uh. the cards. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hmm. What do I do with the rest of this mana now? Hmm. Put it into Helix Pinnacle. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's my line. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna Ancient Stirrings first. I don't care too much about this Garrick. Oh wow, I got a forest. Why is this in my deck? Oh, <laughs> uh, Birthing Pod doesn't even count, man. Oh. I'm sad. Where these other two forests come from? Wait, what? I had more la- I had more mana than I thought there. Uh, okay, yeah, no attacks. So I have five mana. Okay. I'll play Garrick, Wild Speaker, the other okay. ramp, ramp guy. Now, for you to get the trigger, you have to hit a player, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh oh. There's only five minutes left on the clock. Oh my god, I'm going to time out? How, how long did you make this match? It, when you challenge friends, it's automatically two, uh, a match 25 minutes. There's no options for it. Oh, we should just make like a one only a friends can match. join. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that next time. That's fine. Why couldn't I hit this mind's eye with the ancient stirrings? Come on, dude. <laughs> I want to draw cards like I've got a... Uh, what's it called? Consecrated Sphinx. You know what? Let's go to combat first, huh? Oh, I'm scared of your of your commander. You get to cast Ancient Stirrings. <laughs> or you get to kill Garrick. It's up to you. I think I'll take Garrick out. <laughs> oh, you don't get your trigger, though. What about That's your trigger? Okay. okay. See you later, Garrick. I ticked him down, so I wasn't going to be able to overrun anyway. Yeah. That's okay. I really just needed to get rid of him so you couldn't build back up. After, you uh, actually have my own Ugin. No, 
I think the correct number here is to minus six to make sure you kill Baaloths. Yes, of course. <laughs> Three. No, that's not incorrect. It should be six. <laughs> it should be six. Six, I say! Oh, I'm Ooh. so mad about Mind's and Eye. And I'll untap. <laughs> Where's my goddamn... Where's my Helix Pinnacle, dude? Oh, I'm pissed. <laughs> I am pissed. That's some bullshit. You can't play That's around true. Shroud, dude. <laughs> well. Non-targeting exile effects. The most powerful in the game. Yeah, probably. Hmm. That looks pretty nice. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Oh, like, you're. I took it. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm going to try and win the third game in four minutes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Hopefully I won't draw Helix Pinnacle so I can uh, actually go off in the allotted time. Uh, keeper. That's a one land. That's a one land. Uh... Mull, 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 mull. Uh... Keeping the five? Yeah. Still one land, though. <laughs> oh, no. Oath of Nissa. You, you might win the game in four minutes. I'm going to have to be quick. I want... Uh, I want Lotus Cobra. Any order. F8. Go. I'm trying to run my clock down. F8. <laughs> scry one. Bottom. Hey, one land with a scry? Not terrible. Yeah, but I didn't find another land, so. Didn't find another land, so. Oh, no. I, oh, actually, you know what? Oh, I'm doing this. Fuck it. Fuck it! Put something on top of my deck. I got any one drops? You know what? That counts. I just tutored up a Dryad Harper. <laughs> uh. Always yes, always yield. Green, please. One. You're summoning sick, you piece of shit. Tomatic compass, go. <laughs> Attack for two. Piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking dryad harbor. Being a creature is not an upside when you just want an untapped forest. Okay. Uh, down with yeah. Lotus Cobra. I can't block it. Can't do anything. Uh, okay. Um. Shite. Makes two mana. I got two more land. I might be able to stabilize, but okay. Play this. Make a dude. Go to combat. Get in there for two. Go go Power Rangers. <sighs> oh no. Discard. Discard Emrakul to hand side. Oh, you had the Ugin again? Why is this upkeep stop still here? Go away. I oh. wish I had a big creature that I could I pass into combat. That's but. okay. Sure. Get in for two. Boy, I tell you. <laughs> these draws. This has not been exciting. <laughs> tell me about it. Let's go get a forest. Can I have one? Nope. I'm going to put it into play. You don't have Veteran Explorer? Add green and then pass the turn because I, I ain't got hey. a two drop. It's an island. Wow. I don't have to discard again. Wow. Okay. Play land. Nice. Make green. Nice. And then... If I draw one more land, I think I might be able to be one. okay. Does this make mana? This does make mana. Boom. Four. Vernal Bloom. One, two, three. Mm -mm. Ramanop. Mm -mm. Wayward Sword Tooth. Uh -oh. Put counters on the team. <laughs> Attack with all. This is my plan for winning in four minutes. So two minutes now. It's very possible, considering my draws. Dump Sphinx Ambassador. I can't lose... One of my favorite cards in all of Magic, Sphinx Ambassador. Put counter on the team. Combat. Attack with all creatures. Is there a blue fog? Gee. Is that game? Oh, it's game! <laughs> I didn't even do the math. That was a flunge. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, I, we could say that you lost the match because you mulliganed to death in game three. <laughs> or we could true. say that I won the match because I was smart enough to concede game two instead of timing out. Mm -hmm. So just a round of applause all around. I'll take half the credit and give the other half to Majora's terrible bad luck. Yep. Thank you very much. I'll be here <laughs> all the time. We'll see you next time on Majora Mulligans to Five. <laughs>